Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're hopping back into Blender but doing a bit of work in Studio and Blender and uh, we're going to be building some sort of warp portal type thing, okay? I have not the biggest idea of how this is going to turn out. I did, however, do a sort of cruddy drawing. <laughs> So I'm thinking, uh, I'll show you guys the updated zone as well that we're going to be putting this into, but I'm thinking two arched pillars as you see one here and one here. So two arched pillars, uh, some sort of a gem in the middle with an awesome particle coming off of it, a rippled, it'll be a 3D modeled rippled sort of wall here. And then we're going to do the same thing we did in Super Slayers where we'll have a point light in uh, having its brightness go up and down. And then maybe, maybe something else even to make it look a lot more immersive and cool. But let me show you guys the uh, actual zone itself real quick as I just finished that. Here it is guys, okay? So just uh, a little forest, okay? We got a couple different types of trees looking kind of nice, kind of nice. There we go. And the portal is going to go right here. So hopefully it looks awesome. Let's hop on into Blender and start getting something amazing put together. So first things first, how do I want to do it? I think I'm going to just start off with a plane, which uh, I don't normally do, but uh, hey, what's the worst that can happen? Flip that 90 degrees. There we go. And let's see. Um, I'm actually going to flip it one more time just because I, I like working with the X axis. It's just like my, my workflow, you know, it, no need to explain myself, guys. <laughs> We're going to do uh, control shift B. That's going to let us bevel uh, sides like that. I'm thinking we'll go something along these lines should be all right. And then we're going to add a loop cut here and here. Grab those S and X, scale them out, uh, just something like this. And then we'll grab the ones at the bottom and do S X to scale in. Sure. Why not? Let's see how it how it works out, I guess. Now what I want to do is extrude this a little bit. All right. And then we're going to delete these faces because, yo, we don't need them. Delete face and delete face. I'll delete the bottom face as well. And this top one, because I don't think we need that one either. So now we have something that looks like this. And you guys might be like, bro, this is such a weird way to do it. And yes, I do agree with you. But uh, I, there's a method to my madness. All right. We're going to extrude along face normals. And then we're going to have something like this. Awesome. Let's grab our line select mode. Grab this line, this line. Snap over to our side view and kind of hike these up a little bit there we go and then we will do s and x to give them their kind of a width back there we go let's add a loop cut here and here and then grab all of the bottom faces like so alt e extrude along face normals uh that one's wait wait wait. alt e all right so it's gonna be a, a little wonky here which uh might be kind of cool in some sort of a weird way let's go ahead and just manually fix them up a little bit because yeah i don't want them to be like like this wild move that up to here we're gonna move the inner ones down a little bit like so and then we will go ahead and grab the bottom faces and move those up a little bit so they're more in here i guess that didn't uh didn't really do i should have grabbed the bottom faces actually instead of only grabbing the uh the outsides here so let me just control z that and grab these faces as well there we go that makes it so much better so so much better guys look at that this is pretty much all we wanted uh, a little bit i might do them like a little extra thick let me see alt e extrude along face normals yeah like pretty thick honestly i think it's gonna look cooler all right so we have something like this we need to make the bottom flat so i'm gonna grab these sides here drag them on up so they're a bit more in line and i'm gonna kind of do the same with the outsides here drag those up and then maybe drag the insides down just a little bit all right so something like this is kind of where i wanted to be at um what do we want to do next I think we can add a bit of misshapenness, I, I don't know what to call it, to the tops of these um, and make them a little uneven. I think that'll give a cool, a kind of a cool aesthetic here. Let's drag this one down. This one can come down and forward. So just something like that, guys, to make it a little bit different from each other, a little broken. And we could do the same here. We'll do a control B or shift control B. 
and that is gonna let us bevel and we can add in cracks to the concrete here so let's do that all around this just in random spots we definitely don't want to overdo it we want this to look pretty good at the end of the day uh, and we'll add one down here definitely does not need to be that big we'll kind of work our way around this adding some here or there kind of a little bit everywhere just like that and I think I think that'll actually be okay we don't want to go too crazy with it up next we need oh man we need something all right we're gonna bring in another plane I'm gonna rotate that 90 degrees and we're gonna make that sort of ripple effect I was talking about all right guys so for the next part here we're gonna kind of line up this plane in the middle of our portal and I can kind of grab this bottom line and move it up a little bit. Nice. Let's go into edit mode right here. We're going to add two loop cuts in the middle, one loop cut through the top. Press A to select everything and then just subdivide it like quite a few times. The more times you do this, the smoother the outcome will be. And there's always decimate later on as well, which will help uh, keep the triangle count down low and all of that good stuff. But for now, at least we're going to go ahead and die. Uh, make it quite dense. Now we want to go over to modifiers, add a displace modifier right here. Click on the little new texture button and then click these guys. It'll take you over to your texture panel. And then for this texture, let's, oh, right here, my bad. Let's click on wood. All right. All right. So if we go into object mode, you can see how this is going to look. And uh, yeah, not exactly great, but we can always go back into our modifiers and adjust all of this good stuff. So the strength, let's kind of bring that down, you know, more to our pace. We'll go, we'll go like this for now, okay? Point 100. Let's go back over to our little textures tab here and change patterns. We could do ring noise, which gives a really cool effect. Or if you want it to be a bit less, you know, you could just do rings, uh, which either way, it looks pretty cool. I think for this particular one, I'm going to do ring noise. I think it looks cool. It gives more of a warped kind of effect here. And we'll be adding an empty later so we can move where this texture is at, if that makes sense. But now we can adjust things like turbulence, which will make this more or less dense. So right here, we have our perfect rings and we can give this more turbulence. I'm probably going to leave it somewhere about right here. We could adjust our size as well to get all kinds of crazy stuff happening. I'm thinking like this. I'm going for a very cartoon-esque type of thing. And then there's also the ones in here that you can adjust, which we already kind of went over. I'm going to keep mine at point 100. Let's go ahead and add in our empty though, which is right there. Shift A, empty. And I'm going to just do plain axis. So to make the empty have an effect on our texture here, we're going to go back into our modifiers tab. Let's click on the uh, texture. There we go. And right here, coordinates from local to object. And now we can set our object as the empty, which is right here. And then we'll click on our empty. And wherever we move this, it's going to move that texture. So we want ours pretty centered right here. And uh, I think that actually looks pretty dang good. So now we're going to click on this shade smooth because bro, that just helps it so much. And uh, we're going to go ahead and apply our stuff. Now, we're definitely going to want to uh, change a bit here. I am going to turn on proportional editing and try to just... I'm going to grab a lot of this and adjust it towards the top. So it fills in this sort of shape a little bit better. And then I'm going to grab the sides and kind of drag those in. So we're not really affecting anything else but what we need to. So there we go. We have our shape that we want for the portal. And uh, now would be a good time to add our decimate modifier. Boom. I like to do 0.5 at a time. As you can see, oh, whoops. It didn't really, uh, it didn't really do much there. So 0.5, as you can see, it does change it up a little bit, but it's not too, too bad. So we're going to apply this. And right there, we already have so much less going on. We're going to do it one more time, though. Decimate right there. 0.5. Perfect. It still looks fine. We're going to apply that and I'll even do it one more time because, hey, I, I like having very, dare I say, low poly <laughs> stuff going on. So now it's looking like this and we could probably do this a few more times to be fair. I don't know if it's like super bad for the model or anything, but works out fine for me in most cases, especially since we're going neon and Roblox probably. So yeah we'll have to see how that goes now i did say i want to have some sort of a gem so let's get that modeled we're going to bring in a mesh cylinder 
and I'm gonna set this to eight sides. Perfect. Add a loop cut here in the middle, grab this top face, scale it down a little bit. I could take off proportional editing because yeah, we don't need that. And then I will grab this, move it up some, grab the bottom face and press M at center. Now we have our gem, very, very simple. Bring it up to the top here, scale it up. And I think I want this like, we're gonna go SZ, kind of stretch the gem and center it a bit because yeah we, we want it to be a bit cooler than it is at the moment <laughs> so we'll go something about right here and i'm gonna drag this up as well there we go guys so here's how our portal looks and uh i'll see you guys in roblox studio actually uh i want to actually texture it i'm gonna texture it in here and then i'll do the rest in studio all right guys officially bringing it on into studio there it is let's insert with a location and check it out hopefully no errors okay we definitely have one. Oh, it's not a big deal we just uh didn't solidify the plane so it's really not a big deal if we want to fix this in studio we could double side it but uh i don't think it's overly that necessary simply because we're only looking at one side of this anyways so i think uh i think we're gonna be all right i'm gonna bring it back here i did put a little transition in the grass so it kind of fades out to the darker color i think that looks really really cool and i'm gonna make this massive it's gonna cover up this entire gap right here and then we'll sort of move the trees around a little bit and all of that kind of stuff to make this fit in super super nice let's go something like this i suppose something like that all right i think this is cool and now we're gonna move this forward Ooh, should that be like blocking it in the front a little bit no i think that's i think that's like a little too uh too much happening so we're gonna move this over some that one looks good and now we're going to start adding some of our effects on here. So to do this, we're going to first insert an object right here. And we're going to want an attachment. Perfect. And then in this attachment, we're going to put a light. Insert object, light. And I always forget which one to use, but I'm going to do spotlight. All right. So there we go. Now we want the angle. Actually, let's just change the color of this light to like uh, a green, I suppose. No, it should probably just be white. We're gonna move our attachment a bit as well and down. So our light, we can kind of see what's going on here. Uh, we gotta go down a little bit more here. There we go, move it back some. Our light can then up the angle a bit and then up the range a bit. There we go, it's covering this whole area now. Very, very good. And now, if we affect the brightness, as you can see, it's giving a cool effect. So we're gonna make it go back and forth like this. White is definitely not a good idea. We're going to try to make this that bright green as well and see how that looks. Yeah, I think that'll be cool. So the, a script is going to make this go from zero to whatever we determine. I mean, it could go all the way to here, honestly, zero to 40 and just kind of fade back and forth real slow like this. So that's one thing we can do. Another thing we could add something spinning on here, uh, which I, I may do. We'll see. All right, guys, so this is what we got going on. It is going to be kind of hard to show you uh, everything because the script is not on right now, so we can't really do too much. But basically what's going to happen is this is going to be going back and forth, making it look very neon. And then when the game is running, there's also a spinner inside that has a decal, and that's going to make it look like that. So can I actually like, oh gosh, oh, oh no, what is happening? Plugins, go away, go away, okay. Uh, okay, we, we really messed this up. <laughs> okay, guys, we're close. Attachment, point light. So this is how it's gonna look, guys. Like this. Uh, like a nice fade back and forth with rotating. There we go. Now, I just need to add a cool particle effect to this gem up here. And then we're good. We're good, guys. We're good. That was a headache. <laughs> All right, guys, same process. Just an attachment up on top. And there we go. I think we're good. I do think I want to move it forward uh so it's sort of like i don't know I, I just wanted it to be a little more pronounced so there we go guys here is the ending portal i hope you did enjoy this video if you did and you want to see more content like this please make sure to like comment and subscribe have a great day later